Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Dentistry to the Point. This is Dr. Dhrumil Manik. So next we are going to study about a topic that is from developmental anomalies of teeth. Right, so that topic is dentinogenesis imperfecta. Now what is dentinogenesis imperfecta? First of all, you have to know what is dentinogenesis. Dentinogenesis is nothing but a process of formation of डेंटिन अगर कोई भी प्रोसेस ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ डेंटिन रहेगी उसको क्या कहेंगे डेंटिनो जेनेसिस एंड समथिंग व्हिच इज इंपरफेक्ट इज नोन एज इंपरफेक्ट टा सो प्रोसेस ऑफ डेंटिन फॉर्मेशन व्हिच इज इंपरफेक्ट व्हिच इज नॉट लीडिंग टू प्रॉपर फॉर्मेशन ऑफ डेंटिन या इंप्रॉपर फॉर्मेशन ऑफ डेंटिन हो रहा है द स्ट्रक्चरल फॉर्मेशन ऑफ डेंटिन इज नॉट प्रॉपर या उसकी स्ट्रेंथ प्रॉपर नहीं है इट इज वेयरिंग ऑफ वेरी अर्ली तो जो भी कुछ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स है जो डेंटिन फॉर्मेशन में प्रॉपर नहीं आ रही है दैट इज नोन एज डेंटिनोजेनेसिस इम्परफेक्ट नो दिस इज एन जेनेटिक डिसऑर्डर क्या है ये एक जेनेटिक डिसऑर्डर विच इज ऑटोजोमल डोमिनेंट इन नेचर एंड इट इज गोइंग टू अफेक्ट बोथ प्राइमरी एंड परमानेंट टीथ ऐसा नहीं है कि सिर्फ प्राइमरी टीथ अफेक्ट होंगे या सिर्फ परमानेंट बोथ प्राइमरी एंड परमानेंट टीथ आर अफेक्टेड सो द टीथ में टर्न टू ग्रे और येलोइश ब्राउन इन कलर क्या होगा उसके ऊपर टीथ के ऊपर जो एनामल रहेगा दैट इज गोइंग टू वेयर ऑफ वेरी इजीली एंड देर विल ऑल्सो बी एट्रीशन ऑफ डेंटिन इन फॉर द टाइम बट द टीथ विल अपेयर ग्रेइश और येलोइश ब्राउन इन कलर द क्राउन ऑफ द टीथ आर गोइंग टू अपेयर ब्रॉड वाई बिकॉज इट इज गोइंग टू गेट कंस्ट्रिक्टेड एट द सर्वाइकल एरिया जो भी टीथ का सर्वाइकल पोर्शन होगा इट इज गोइंग टू गेट Constricted, so the crowns are going to appear broad. That is tulip shape. You guys have seen the tulip. So, उस शेप उस शेप के crown आपको दिखेंगे. तो आपको तीन चीजें याद रखनी है. Grey to yellowish brown teeth, plus broad crowns or tulip shape crowns and constricted cervical area. Right. Next, radiologically, if you look at it, you will see a teeth which is lacking pulp chambers and रूट कैनल विल सी द मोर ऑफ रेडियोलॉजिकल फीचर्स इन डिटेल अबाउट बोथ द टाइप्स सो देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ डेंटिनोजेनेसिस इन परफेक्ट दैट इज टाइप वन एंड टाइप टू दिस इज द रिवाइज क्लासिफिकेशन इन विच देर आर ओनली टू टाइप्स बस फर्स्ट शील्ड्स क्लासिफिकेशन दिया गया था शील्ड्स क्लासिफिकेशन एड थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ डेंटिनोजेनेसिस इन परफेक्ट इन विच द टाइप वन द टाइप वन ऑफ शील्ड क्लासिफिकेशन वॉज कंसिडर्ड Type one was considered dentinogenesis imperfecta plus osteogenesis imperfecta. That means the patient with osteogenesis imperfecta used to show dentinogenesis imperfecta. Now this is excluded, right? Second is type two. Shields classification का type two क्या था? That was only dentinogenesis imperfecta, but it was same as this. That is, it was having opalescent dentin. With osteogen without osteogenesis imperfect the first type में क्या था dentinogenesis plus osteogenesis imperfect and second type you have only opalescent dentin without osteogenesis imperfect the the teeth in this category are also known as the other name that is cavity dentin teeth so in which you may it might be asked कि opalescent dentin or cavity dentin teeth are seen in which Type right. So the gene which is going to be affected is DSPP gene, that is dentin CLO phosphoprotein gene on chromosome number four. Even this can be asked in MCQ. DSPP gene or chromosome number four. This is going to remain same. Now the type three. So type one of revised classification is type two of Shields classification. समझा है? Shields classification में जो type two है वो टाइप वन है रिवाइज क्लासिफिकेशन में मतलब जो भी रिवाइज क्लासिफिकेशन था उसमें द फर्स्ट कैटेगरी इज रिमूव नाउ दे डोंट कंसीडर दैट डेंटिनोजेनेसिस इम्परफेक्ट इज गोइंग टू बी सीन इन पेशेंट्स विथ ऑस्ट्रोजेनेसिस इम्परफेक्ट नाउ नेक्स्ट टाइप थ्री टाइप थ्री ऑफ शील्ड क्लासिफिकेशन इज आई होप सो यू गाइज नाउ कैन गेस वॉट इज टाइप थ्री दिस इज द टाइप थ्री ऑफ शील्ड क्लासिफिकेशन दैट इज ब्रांडी वाइन टाइप और Shell teeth. The teeth are going to appear as shell, and even in this, there will be DSPP gene, that is dentin CLO phosphoprotein gene on chromosome number four will be affected, right? So the Shields classification type three is revised classification type two. So in this, I can write now over here that is opalescent dentin. 
and over here I can write brandy wine type, right? So these are the two main classifications which you guys need to consider. This is the which classification. So now other name of dentinogenesis type 1 can also be shields type 2 and for type 2 it can be shields type See, so this is a basic introduction regarding dentinogenesis imperfecta. Next, moving on to the description of both types of dentinogenesis imperfecta that is type 1 and type 2. Firstly, we will start with type 1. So the teeth in type 1 dentinogenesis imperfecta are going to appear blue grey or amber brown in color and they are going to appear opalescent. Second feature is again radiographic features if you see of this teeth, then the teeth are going to appear bulbous. Bulbous Q dikhenge because there is constriction in the cervical area. Cervical area se crown constricted hai automatically the crown is going to appear bulbous. Roots are narrower than normal. Jogi uske roots rehenge teeth ki they are narrow, narrower than normal. Pulse chamber is also narrow or sometimes it can be completely obliterated. Matlab you can't see the whole pulse chamber ya to sometimes it is going to be Narrow do chise dekhi blue grey or amber brown teeth with opalescent and bulbous crown with roots narrower and pulp chamber narrower or completely obliterated. Next enamel wears off easily on stress. The enamel over the dentin is going to be so soft or friable that it is going to wear off easily due to stress and dentin will be exposed when few time dentin is also going to where of the teeth constricted in cervical area we already discussed so due to this the crown is going to appear tulip shaped right tulip shaped crown keh sakte ho haap isko opalescent dentine bhi keh sakte ho shields type 2 dentinogenesis imperfecta keh sakte ho ya capti point teeth keh sakte ho so radically agar dekho ke to there are less number of dentinal tubules if we compare the teeth of di1 with normal teeth then there are less number of dentinal tubules and the tubules in DI1 are going to be more increased in size compared to the normal teeth. Matlab tubules come bhi hai or size bhi zyada hai. So there is not a normal formation of dentine matrix and also there is increased amount of uncalcified matrix. Calcified matrix agar zyada hoga to strength rahegi. Par agar uncalcified matrix zyada rahega to strength is going to decrease. Obliterated pulp chamber you can see due to com a continuous deposition of dentin even the dentin is going to wear off continuously but it is going to get deposited also now treatment is cast metal uh, crowns you can give or jacket crowns cast metal crowns are preferred in the posterior areas and jacket crowns in the anterior area so these are the features histological radiological clinical and treatment of di1 Next moving to DI2, so it is known as Brandywine type. Why? Because it is found in Brandywine triracial isolate in Maryland. Maryland mein Brandywine, uh, Brandywine racial races hai, usme DI2 was most commonly seen. So they have named it as Brandywine triracial isolate in Maryland. Dentine is again amber and smooth in color. Now the crown wears off easily after Eruption, thode time baad kya hoga, the enamel is going to wear off and the teeth are going to present with multiple pulpal exposure. This is going to be rapid in DI2. DI1 me itta jaldi nahi hoga, but DI2, the crown are going to wear off as soon as they are erupted and there are going to be multiple pulpal exposures. Radiographically, very large pulp chamber or root canal, you can see, because there will be less amount of Dentine formation overall, so the crowns are going, the pulp chambers and the root canals are going to appear very large. So even the teeth are known as shell teeth because there is no dentine present, the appearance will be like shell. So it is known as shell teeth or brandywine type or you can also call it as shield type. Three, the pulp chambers sometimes may also show small spaces but which time they can also get obliterated. So this is a contraindication. Next, less dentine formation or there is no dentine formation seen in dentinogenesis imperfecta type 2. Along with that, the histological features are going to remain the same and treatment is also going to remain the 
सेम सो क्या आपको याद रखना है इसके बारे में कि ओपेलेसेंट नाइनटीन है ट्यूलिप शिप क्राउन है शील्ड टाइप टू कहेंगे इसको और इसको कैप्डीपोन टीथ कहते हैं इसको ब्रांडीवाइन टाइप बिकॉज इट वॉज फाउंड इन ब्रांडीवाइन ट्राइरेशियल आइसोलेट शेल टीथ बिकॉज डेंटिन रहेगा नहीं पल्स चेम्बर ज्यादा बड़े दिखेंगे शील्ड टाइप थ्री रहेगा राइट सो दीज आर द मेन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ डी आई वन एंड डी आई टू आई होप सो यू गाइज अंडरस्टूड द टॉपिक एंड इफ यू एंजॉय द वीडियो देन प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब आर चैनल एंड डोंट फोर्गेट टू हिट द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू गेट रेग्युलर अपडेट्स ऑफ आर लेक्चर्स थैंक यू